Sophie, Sophie, there's a baby in the field. Let's go. What? There is. Yeah, hurry up. Hold on. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. It is Saturday. The dogs are freaking wild. We've been keeping them in a little bit more because the mud, but they just trashed Sam's eaves trough. Ruby did. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. I left my coat in the barn last night and I'm frozen. Hi. Hi. I took you a long time. What were you doing? Filling water, doing everything. Because it's nice out? I know. Yep. It makes you want to be outside. I miss the days when we get to do fun stuff. Yeah. Nice. Do we have to go to Walmart today? Yeah, we have to get dog food. <sighs> Ruby crashed the eaves drop. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> I think it was your dog. Your dog. It was Ruby. <laughs> My dog's too little for that. Whew. Just what I needed. Can you guys hear there's birds here now? It's so cute. Okay, so today my goat is gonna have a baby. And I really need a new barn coat. Mine is ripped. Oh, it's cold. So she's gonna have a baby. It's gonna be today. At least that's what I'm gonna tell everybody. So I rarely do pranks on my channel, rarely ever, because I'm not good at it. Everyone always guesses me out. And I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so everybody always guesses. Oh, it is treacherous today. <laughs> today, I'm going to pretend that the goat gave birth and that we missed it. I'm gonna look on my camera on my phone and tell Sophie that, run, run, the goat had a baby. And see what happens. I had to whisper because I didn't want anybody to hear me because if one person knows that this is a prank, It'll be even harder for me to pull it off. Because in my family, none of us are good at pranks. But today, I'm going to pretend that I found a baby in the field and we have to run down to get it. I'm gonna, because that's my biggest fear. So I'm gonna tell Sophie, oh my gosh, there's a baby on the camera. Run! And we're gonna see what happens. Does it make me feel bad to break her little heart? <laughs> yeah. But she's homeschooled <laughs> and homeschool kids, they need to like see what real life is about. All they get is happiness and kindness. It's actually cold out, but it's sunny. I have to put more water in the pool for the ducks so that they're happy. Ugh. feed my goats in their own buckets, in their own stalls, I put a little bit of grain, small tiny amount of grain outside. And the reason I do that is because they won't go outside. <laughs> they just want to be inside. One thing I'm really particular about is making sure that everybody gets exactly what they need. And because of that, it's important to me to feed them individually, whether that's what other people do or not. It's a huge deal for me. So I do what works with my moral compass, what I feel comfortable with. And it took like a lot of years for me to feel confident and comfortable in my own skin and to make my own choices, regardless of what other people choose to do. So are you gonna have babies today? Are you gonna have a baby today? Hey, she's looking pretty lively. Her udder is looking big and gorgeous probably not popped yet and her ligaments are tight and hard there is a no chance of a baby today once the ligaments go it goes it's about 12 to 24 hours she's on day 143 today a baby goats are typically born from one day 140 to day 150 with the average being 145 so if she's average she'll go 
on Monday, but you think that her ligaments would start to thin out before then. So who knows? We're just wait playing the waiting game here on our farm and we're learning patience, but I was never even patient when I had my own baby. I was always so excited. I get so excited. Even for Christmas, I get so excited. Like waiting for things that I love is hard for me. She's like, get me out right now. This is not good. I'm sure three dogs came down here with me. Two are missing. All right, out you go. Out you go. Come on. Maybe she's in labor today. I need to feel her. Oh, she's looking pretty puffy in the back. Yes, I know, you're impatient too. Literally the most impatient goats. the store I'm shopping with Sam he went in already I was looking at my phone pretend I just got distracted but what I'm gonna do what my plan is is Sophie and Gabby stayed home I made them stay home and when I get home I'm gonna act like I saw a baby in the field I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna say like oh my gosh Gabby Sophie there's a baby in the field come on we gotta get down there and then she'll probably run ahead of me and then I'm gonna say grab a towel go get a towel first so that I can get there in the field before her so I can film it but anyways that's the plan let's go first I have to get my my shopping done if you're noticing that Sophie's hair has been controllable and amazing lately, it's because she uses this stuff. I think this is the stuff. Oh no, this is not the stuff. But yeah, she uses Dove and it's actually fixed her hair. Her hair looks the best it's ever looked. But also, this is the hairspray I use. I use it because it keeps my hair from flying away and getting staticky. And this bottle gets smaller and smaller and more expensive every single January. Sophie! Sophie! There's a baby in the field! Let's go! What? There is? Yeah, hurry up! Shut! Come on, hurry! Stop! Oh my gosh. You're not going first. Go and get a towel first. You go get a No, towel. you get the towel. You get the towel, I'm going to get my baby. No, wait for me! Sophie! Wait for me! Sophie! Wait! Wait for your mother! Oh my god! Oh my god. Gosh! Hold oh, on! I'm gonna fall! Wait! You're stressing everybody out! Oh, go, Ellie! Oh, get the towel! Oh. Oh. Where's my baby? Yes, there is! Do you see it? Look, she maybe hit it somewhere. Oh. Oh. Quick. It was running. I saw it moving. I can't breathe either. Oh. The ghosts are like, what's happening? Tell us. Oh. Why didn't you wait for me? Look behind there. Oh. Prank! I'm going back to my friend. <laughs> Wait! I never seen you run so fast. I'm going back to my friend. <laughs> yeah. Help carry the groceries. 
Andrew's in. No. Yes. Wait. Help me. The goat got in. Oh. I can't even breathe. Go away. Ellie. Go. Oh. Wait till I come in. Okay. Oh, did it come in again? That was fun. <laughs> you got your exercise. She hates me. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. It's been better if I had cameras. <laughs> when she burst through the gate, she said, I said, Sylvie, wait for me. And she said, no, I'm getting my baby. <laughs> She's walking slow now. <laughs> I haven't done a prank in so long that I got her. I literally got her. I didn't even tell Sam what was happening. I just ran out of the car and said that there's a baby goat. Oh, proud of me. That was so fun. I wish it was true though. What? What? I hate her so much. <laughs> she she said she hates me so much. Come on, Elliot. The <laughs> first time she's ever said that to me. Gabby, I bought you something special. I did too. What? I, I bought you something Pineapple. Special. Yes. I think yes. you buy those for you and not Gabby. Oh, I got you something else too. Oh, I'll never forget you just running at the top speed down to that barn. What's going to happen when they really do go into labor? I'm not going to trust you. I'm not going to believe you. It's like the boy who cried wolf. So the reason I did that though is because the other night I woke Sophie up and said, Sophie, we have to go down and check on the goats because they, the mama goat, she has hardly been doing anything. She hardly ate all night. She just slept. I was worried about her. And Sophie was like, eh, eh, this is awful. Like I'm never getting up in the middle of the night again. I wanted to know, like if you want the baby goats, you got to do the work. Anyway, I got us this. It's garden heat. It's like apple cider vinegar, but it's way better for you. It's like living vinegar. Yeah. So, whoa. So, I was thinking we could do shots of it. You want to? Try it. All right, let's try it. Sylvie broke a nail. How do, you know what? If you had waited for me, it would have been a lot easier on you. I don't even know how I broke a nail. I don't know. Apparently, I jumped the little tube thingy that's going into the well. <laughs> I don't remember anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Earthy mushrooms, carrot juice. Earthy mushrooms and carrot juice? It's got really good bacteria first, for your gut. We need two of them. Well, you do it first and then I'll do it. Pranked me and told me that there was a goat baby in the field. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, sorry, my, mom, my dumb mom pranked me. I take probiotics, but Gabby doesn't, and now nobody else does. But Ooh. this is really it's good. Like tomatoes. Mmm. I figure we should do shots of this stuff every day. For ba good back Wait, gut bacteria, shot? yeah. You know, the first, so I don't know by your reactions. You want like Sophie, Gabby, did Sophie to do it first? I'm doing it first. All right. All right, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I get to pour it because it's mine. Nice. So the only kind of shots we do in our family are healthy shots. This is honestly really good for gut bacteria. That uh, should be good. I'm not gonna want more. Just like tomatoes. Oh, I love tomatoes. Ew. <coughs> no. It's disgusting. It's good for you though. It's, it's worse than tomatoes. Watch, she's gonna fill mine all the way to the top. No, you're getting an ounce like me. All right, I love the bottle though. It's it's a good bottle to keep forever. Yeah. Here we go. It's gross. <coughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh, how did you do it? Oh. It's like tomatoes and vinegar, Sam. You would love it. I can't breathe out. No, I, it burns right here. It burns. It actually it burns. Like reach your stomach. It just burns. It's burning all the way down. I'm going to keep trying it, though, just till this bottle's empty. Because it's just like tomatoes, which is the most disgusting. Tomato and vinegar, it's good. Sam, you would love this. It literally is taking my breath away, though. Oh, I love sausages. Do you want to try it? No. Have a shot? Oh, it's so good. I don't like to experiment on health. Yucky food. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. 
anyway, that is it for today's yeah. video for Saturday's vlog. But I wanted to tell you guys before we say good night, I was actually so surprised at the number of people that could tell that Gabby didn't have a connection to that horse. And also, I was overwhelmed by your responses again and how kind you guys all are. Like, there was a time where our comment section was a mess. And now it is amazing. And I love all of you guys. People say that they love their followers all the time but i truly do feel so much in my heart for you guys i truly do feel so much for you guys in my heart because of how well you guys know us and how well you support us and how kind you are to us and i love the fact that you share your own experiences i don't know i've just been feeling a lot of love lately from you guys and i wanted to just say thank you for that see you tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful